And this is the beautiful hymn by Henry Purcell. Um, and the words are, Christ is made the sure foundation and the precious cornerstone. And Queen Camilla wearing the crown very valiantly. It's very heavy, Daniel. It's not as heavy as the king's crown, Vanessa. About a fifth of the weight, one pound five ounces, just 590 grams. But I love the smile she gave the she is king as she smiles. walked by. She really is. She, she, she's absolutely, um, it seems, basking in the moment in the most charming way. She's really smiling throughout. There are her own children there, Laura Lopez and, uh, and um, her son, Tom Parker Bowles, of course, and there, Prince William and Kate. It's a Charlotte Louis, a little small, so we can't see him over the top of the, of the balustrade. Everyone's smiling, I think, in blessed relief, quite frankly, that it's gone so impeccably well so far. It's gone very smoothly. But the King did look really very emotional yes. during the crowning, the putting on of the robes, receiving the sceptre and the orb. But he's a religious man. I mean, deeply believes in, 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 in Christianity and in faith and in the spiritual and very important religious side of today's proceedings. It's enormously solemn for the country and for him. So, of course, he looks very moved. I love the way, actually, the Queen counters the King so well. She's smiling, he's looking very, very serious. You can see how they balance each other perfectly. Chairs of State. Garter, King of Arms, wearing his crown. And behind him, the Earl Marshal, Duke of Norfolk, responsible for the ceremonial at the coronation. The Lord be with you. Lift up your heart. Let us give thanks unto the Lord our God. It is very meet, right, and our bounden duty that we should at all times and in all places give thanks unto thee, O Lord, Holy Father, almighty, everlasting God, through Jesus Christ, thine only Son, our Lord who hast at this time consecrated thy servant Charles to be our king, that by the anointing of thy grace he may be the defender of thy faith and the protector of thy people, that with him we may learn the ways of service, compassion, and love, and that the good work that thou hast begun in him this day may be brought to completion in the day of Jesus Christ. Therefore, with angels and archangels, and with all the company of heaven, we laud and magnify thy glorious name evermore, praising thee and saying, 